Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Scylla Stuff and Things. So I am doing this all mobile on my iPhone and we are gonna cook pork tenderloin in the crock pot today. So let's get cooking. The ingredients you're gonna need for this are a pork tenderloin, which I'm using too, cause I'm gonna double up the recipe, just because it's like day 1050 and quarantine. And sometimes you just don't feel like cooking anymore. Like I've cooked all the things. So let's have leftovers someday. You're gonna need pineapple, brown sugar, soy sauce, I use low sodium, some vegetable oil, minced garlic, which typically I would use fresh garlic, but again, uh, we're doing the COVID-19 and this is what we have, and salt and pepper. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to our um, stove top and brown the pork tenderloin. You wanna do that because it's gonna sear and keep in all of the yummy juices. Alrighty guys, so we have everything out of the packaging. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil in our pan, maybe about two, maybe a one and a half tablespoons. And just move it around. I'm gonna take my salt and pepper and just lightly go over the tenderloins. So when you buy these tenderloin packs, you're gonna have two separate pieces. Um, in there, so just keep that in mind. There's gonna be a lot. But obviously it's gonna cook down when you put it in your crock pot, so we'll be good. And you could make like pork tacos with the leftovers. I'm sure my family would love that. You could do all kinds of things. Ooh, get that nice sizzle. And we'll take some salt and pepper. This is probably the number one question I get asked about is a salt and pepper holder. And I will make sure Asa links that down below for you guys because it's awesome. I love it so much. And I use it all the time. Alrighty guys, it is time to take this out of the pan. You're gonna take each tenderloin and just set it in your crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and put it in the pan so it can get seared. So it actually holds three pretty perfect. Look at that. Woo! You say hi mm -hmm. to everybody, I have an assistant. Mm -hmm. So you have to come help me if you want some pineapple. So we're taking one cup of brown mm -hmm. sugar and we're gonna pour that mm -hmm. in there. Can you dump that in there for me? Here, you hold it. Dump it in there. Mm -hmm. Good job, mm -hmm. okay? And then, mm -hmm. come here. Mm -hmm. We have a half a cup mm -hmm. of soy sauce and we use the low sodium. So we're gonna dump that in there. Pour it in there. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to do garlic, which is to your liking, the however much you want. We like garlic. Um, so that's one. Hold on, Ab. I'm going to have you help with the pineapple. Two. So I would say about two tablespoons, maybe three. Two and a half. Two and a half. We're going to make it two and a half. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I don't like to follow recipes because you can just do what you want to do. So we're gonna take mm. this pineapple mm. and we're gonna pour the pineapple in the crock pot. Can you do that? Nice job. Okay, hold on, don't take that pineapple. Hold on, I'm gonna give you another one. Here you go, ma'am. Don't take anything, hold on. That's a good job, Ab. Here you go. You can have that piece. You can eat it, okay. Here, do you want a piece? I'll keep you a piece out. Pour that in there. Good job. You want that? No? no. Okay. All right, so that is the recipe. Um, we used, let's see how much pineapple. 
about two and a half pounds of pineapple. I went ahead and bought the pre-cut because we're trying to make it easy. I have a lot going on today, so I'm not a huge crock pot person, but um, this I'm excited about. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's kind of like a Hawaiian um, pork tenderloin. So I'm super excited about that. We're gonna cook this on six hours. Mine, that's considered high, so whatever you like to do. Um, low four hours. It does not have to cook as long as like a beef roast. So there you go, guys. We will see you in a little bit and we'll show you what it looks like when it finishes. Hey guys, it's been all day. We're back. We are ready to eat dinner. Our house smells amazing. Everybody keeps walking in. They're like, okay, we're hungry. Is dinner ready? I'm like, it is. I went ahead and doctored up some fake mashed potatoes. We have corn some biscuits, and then our pork loin. Looks good. All right, so we're just gonna take one out. Oh my goodness, it's so tender. You guys. So I'm just gonna slice it like this, put it on my platter, put some pineapples with it and some juice over the top and they are gonna be in heaven. Oh, it's just falling apart. Little note to yourself, you put it on a white platter, it always looks fancier. So you could make a basic meal and just make it look fancy by putting it on the white platter. Cameraman's gonna steal some. Is it good? 10 out of 10. Okay. We'll do half of another one. And then we'll take some of our pineapples. Put it on there. Oh my goodness, they're gonna love this. What do you think? Look good? Mm-hmm. Talking about the pork loin, Asa. <laughs> Quarantine camera. We still love each other. So I'm just gonna take some of the juice. Oh buddy. All right guys, I'm gonna go set the table. Thank y'all so much for hopping on and checking this out. Comment down below, let me know what is your favorite pork loin recipe. Thank you so much. We will see you next time. Bye.